Leakers who go through the game files in Fortnite can be a blessing sometimes because they show us stuff that's about to get added to the game before we even see it. Sometimes though, items never release. You know that Fortnite was days away from adding a flamethrower? Yeah, that's barely the tip of the iceberg. This is 15 scrapped Fortnite updates. Don't forget to drop a like. I would say if you don't, you'll get like spiders in your ear or whatever everyone else is saying, but I mean, come on, it does help support our team. We appreciate ya. On to number 15, the IT crossover. Fortnite is known for its countless achievements, whether that be in-game events, inventing the battle pass, or simply how popular it is. Another one of the big moves that Fortnite has made is the crossover events with movies such as The Avengers, video games like Borderlands, and even musicians like Marshmello. Just planning and then pulling these crossover events off is not easy to do, so it shouldn't be a surprise that some of them may not work out like Epic would have hoped. Toward the end of August last year, data miners did their thing and began to find files which pretty much confirmed a crossover event with IT Chapter 2. You know, the horror film with the creepy clown? Like this video or else this creepy clown will be under your- okay, bad joke, bad joke. Anywho, the first file to be found were actually the sounds of Pennywise laughing, but eventually the iconic red balloon were also found in the files. To top it all off, there were even mentions of challenges for the supposed crossover. Going even further, soon after these files were discovered, the red balloon was spotted in the actual game coming out of the sewer drains around the map. Once this happened, pretty much everyone believed that Pennywise would be making his debut in Fortnite at any moment, because why else would Fortnite tease it? We waited and waited and it never happened. There was even a mention of a Pennywise clown skin in that huge leaked list of scrapped outfits, so it was definitely going to be more than just a nod. To this day, Epic Games have yet to comment on what exactly their plans were with these files and the Red Balloon teaser. Maybe the promotion just fell apart, or maybe Epic changed their minds? Who knows? Number 14. Weapons Fortnite just wouldn't be the same if it weren't for the awesome weapons that the game has had over the years. Feel like blowing stuff up? Use the rocket launcher. Need to hit a long distance target or even a sick trick shot? Grab a sniper. There's multiple. Doesn't it make you think about the guns that were gonna come out but never did? We've got a list of scrapped weapons and I think you'll find some of them, well, interesting. Some of these weapons just seem to be ideas that Epic canceled while making them while others were fully developed and ready to be thrown into chests, but for some reason never were. One of the most requested weapons that players seem to have is the flamethrower. If the leaked files are to be believed, however, Epic was actually planning to add this thing to the game all the way back in Season 5. Sadly, there's no images of what the flamethrower might have looked like, but we do know that there were files simply named Thrower, which were being worked on around the version 5.30 update. As for the next weapon, we could find a version of the minigun, which had a detachable sniper scope and a concept art for Fortnite's Battle Royale mode. There's also some kind of Zapatron version of the minigun too. I'm not sure what the point of that would have been, but hey, it's something Epic thought about and could always be added in the future. Well, I mean, considering this wasn't the concept art though, and they haven't added this thing in the entire time Battle Royale has been out, I'm not getting my hopes up. A lot of the weapons found in Fortnite Save the World mode has actually been updated to work within the Battle Royale mode, yet they haven't been released. You have the Razor Wire, aka the G36C, which is a perfect example of this, but there's also the Blizzard Blitzer, which was gonna be a cross between the Snowball Launcher and Rocket Launcher. Not surprised that one didn't work out, but last but not least is a Medieval Sword, and I already know what you're thinking, I don't trust Epic with swords after the whole Infinity Blade thing either, so hey, good that it didn't come out. But you gotta admit, if this thing wasn't overpowered, I'd be down for a little slice and dice action. Number 13, the Radioactive Smoke Grenade. Back in Season 8, files were data mined from the game, which seemed to indicate that a new item called the Radioactive Smoke Grenade would be added. We only really know the name of this thing, not how it would work, or even what it would look like, so we kind of guessed that it was just supposed to be the Stink Bomb, which is probably why it never came out. Number 12, the Golden Umbrella. Since Season 1 of Fortnite, players have asked for more Umbrella Awards for their hard-earned victory royales. If you're an OG in Fortnite, you probably remember the bronze, silver, and gold umbrella concepts that fans made in the early days of the game. Interestingly enough, Epic actually took this feedback literally and started making it into a real thing. Around the peak of Fortnite Battle Royale though, files were added to the game which suggested that players could earn the victory umbrellas that they've dreamed of for years. For one win, you could earn the normal seasonal umbrella, but at 25 wins you would earn the bronze umbrella, at 50 you would earn the silver, and at 100 wins you would earn the golden umbrella. We've talked about it, we've seen it clickbaited for years. Nobody knows why Epic never released these umbrellas, especially because it would give hardcore players something new to grind for. But hey, at least we got the golden classified umbrella for season two. It's pretty cool. Number 11, the mini Uzi. 
Around the time that Season 7 was released, files were added to the game for a new SMG named the Mini Uzi or Machine Pistol. Unlike the other scrapped weapons, this one actually showed up in the game for us to use when Epic accidentally released it into an LTM in Season 10 for a few days. What's really interesting about this weapon is that even though it was added to the files over a year ago, it might actually be released officially in the near future. In the new lobby in Chapter 2 Season 2, weapon blueprints can be found on one of the boards around the HQ. It's here that we could find a blueprint for the Mini Uzi. I'm pretty sure that this is Epic's way of teasing us about the machine pistol being released sometime this season, but we'll just have to wait and see. We have a lot of different SMGs in the game right now, so let's see what happens. Number 10, Unreleased Skins. Like them or not, skins are one of the biggest parts of Fortnite, outside of the, you know, gameplay itself. You'd be surprised at how many skins have been created, yet never actually released. In Fortnite Season 5, a new skin was added to the files named K-Pop. Honestly, it was a pretty weird skin that had a guy wearing a hoodie with dragon wings on it. Yeah, in Season 6, this skin was completely removed from the files, and it wasn't until a few months later that the skin would be re-added to the game and then released. This time though, completely different than the original. As we all know now, it's the iconic skin. Other outfits that we're still waiting to release are those like Oro, Airhead, and even new default skins. I'm not really sure why Oro never released. I mean, he seems to be perfect for the gold theme that we have with this season, so maybe he'll show up sometime later. For now, mwah, mom's credit card is saved. Number nine, Petrol. When Fortnite Chapter 2 was first released, one of the many new mechanics added to the game were explodable gas stations. This was an idea that players had talked about for years, so it was pretty cool to see Epic finally bring it to the game. Around the same time as this new mechanic, a new ammo type named Petrol was added to the Battle Royale files. If you don't know, it's pretty much gas. Some vehicles like planes that people were getting into actually had a small fuel counter on them, which means Epic were definitely gonna add this new mechanic to vehicles, but for some reason they changed their mind last minute. And again, we have like one vehicle on the island right now and it doesn't exactly need nerfing. Helicopters are coming though. Maybe those will have fuel counters on them. We'll have to wait and see. Number eight, special packs. One item type which hasn't actually been released in Fortnite is called packs. Because these are unreleased, we're not exactly sure how they work, but there's definitely some cool ideas you could think of just from knowing their names. The Intel pack sounds like it could be some sort of radar feature that would let you find your enemies more easily on the map. Very possible that this was even turned into the new shakedown mechanic that was added in season two. Another one of these items was called the medic pack, and it's thought that this would have given you an advantage in duos or squad. I'm guessing it would have let you revive your teammates faster or like do some type of group healing thing. Maybe that was scrapped and the bandage gun came out, who knows? Number seven, consumables. So we got another list of leak consumables that were never added to the game. Over the years, many different consumable items have been added to Fortnite. These items ranged from mushrooms to hop rocks. But I bet you didn't know of the consumable items that never made it to the game. Like in season seven, data miners discovered files in the game for a new consumable item, the carrot. So not much is known about what this item could have been, but it would have probably given you some kind of effect whether it was higher jumps or something like that. Guess what? Lots more have been leaked too. Here's a quick list. There's Dur Fries, the Dur Shake, the Dur Burger, Dur Hot Sauce, lots of Durs, a pumpkin, and of course the carrot. Looking back, yeah, I could probably see why none of these were added. Number six. Fortnite's first ever exclusive phone skin was the Galaxy outfit all the way back in season five. Since then, players who were lucky enough to get this skin have been given the Galaxy pickaxe and back bling, but there still isn't a Galaxy wrap, where is it? Well, back in season seven, social media was plagued with a quote unquote leak that said some kind of Galaxy weapon wrap was coming. There wasn't any evidence for this, and the only files people mentioned were some kind of hints in the Fortnite update. Other than that though, nothing. Since then, tons of leakers made concepts of what the Galaxy wrap could have looked like, but obviously it never ended up coming out as the leaks weren't really anything at all. Number five, scrapped POIs. So just before Fortnite Chapter 2 was released, many leak files were found that gave us an idea of the different new locations that were coming to the game. At the time, we only really assumed that we were getting like an all new map, so to see all the new POIs was really cool. But even now in season two, we still haven't seen four of the locations which were supposed to be included in the chapter two map. These locations are Sailing Seals, Festival, Sewers, and Museum. My favorite of these would definitely have to be Museum. Like, can you imagine dropping at the museum and seeing all the vaulted items on display in it? That'd be pretty cool. The other locations such as Sailing Seals could very well be coming to the game at a later date, or maybe that was a code name for the yacht. Epic is known to make things for Fortnite way ahead of release, but it's also possible that these ideas were scrapped and we'll never actually see them. Only time will tell. Number four, the Eye of the Storm Tracker. 
Back in Season 4, a mysterious item named the Eye of the Storm Tracker was added to the game with, like, no explanation. Like, I'm not joking, it literally just dropped into people's matches. This item attached to the player's back, just as a back bling would, but it allowed you to see where the next two storm circles would be instead of just one. The interesting part about this is that 99% of players didn't even get a chance to try it because it was removed from the game just 30 minutes after Epic accidentally released it. Now, Epic actually responded to the community about this and said the storm tracker was an idea that was being tested for one of those backpacks. It was not intended to make it into the version 4.2 content update and we can't promise this will ever officially be released. And uh, considering it came out two years ago, don't hold your breath, it's probably never coming back. Number three, the Borderlands Porta Pandora Trap. When Mayhem made its way to Fortnite with the Season 10 Borderlands crossover event, a new throwable item was data mined from the game's files. Obviously some version of the Portafort item, this Porta Pandora item was found in the files and we guess it was gonna let players throw their own version of Pandora at enemies? Basically just a reskin Portafort, but in the end, it was never added. Number two, LTMs. I don't know about you, but I love seeing a brand new LTM in Fortnite every week or so, especially now we're getting creative ones like Search and Destroy. But what about LTMs that never came out? When Wreck-It Ralph's second movie came out, Epic Games did a small crossover with the franchise, which gave us the free Hot Merit emote. I totally pronounced that wrong, oof. But anyways, it also gave us a quick look at Ralph and Game at Risky Reels. Although that's about it. There was even going to be a Wreck-It Ralph LTM, but sadly it was scrapped and we'll likely never see it again. Just like the IT Chapter 2 crossover, we're guessing this one fell apart at the last second. Other scrapped LTMs include Purple Rain and The Blues, which we have literally no details on, so feel free to guess in the comments. Number 1. The Victory Royale Signs When Fortnite's iconic Victory Royale screen was changed in Season 5, many players were worried that it wouldn't have that same satisfying feel that the original did. By now, I think we could all say that it was a great change, especially with that awesome slow-mo. I mean, like it just gives you so much hype when you win. But while we're all used to the current Victory Royale sign, there are a few designs out there which Epic we're gonna go with. Most of them are only a little different than the one we have now, but there's the occasional interesting one. Like this banner, which seems to be based on the 80s Miami style. I absolutely love it, maybe it'll come out eventually. Anyways, I can't believe Fortnite Season 2 storyline was hidden from everyone. You gotta click on screen right now to watch it. You need to see it. This has been Tommy from Top 5 Gaming. I'll see you there.